What is up, guys? It is G-Man once again, and happy Spooktober to y'all. I know that it sucks that we're all still stuck in our homes and not trick-or-treating or at costume parties, but we gotta be safe. And to you guys who are looking for a good scare gaming-wise, here is a list of horror games that we like and scarred us for life with no specific order. So without further ado, let the spooky list begin. And first up in our list is this indie game called Oxen Free. The game is Night School Studios' debut. Influenced by classic teen films and coming of age shows, the developers wanted to create a story driven game without cutscenes, allowing players to roam the environment freely. Oxen Free's visual presentation marries dark, organic, and analog elements with bright geometric and digital ones. Musician Scientific, that is SCNTFC, composed the game's soundtrack, which features digital music production techniques alongside the use of vintage analog tape recorders and receivers. Kudos to the authentic sound design. But if you guys are looking for something to play with your friends and relive your ghost hunter fantasy, well, no doubt Phasmophobia is a game I would recommend you to get. It's a horror investigation survival game played from a first-person perspective. The player works solo or in a group of up to four players to complete a contract in which they must identify the type of ghost haunting to the specific site. Players can communicate through voice chat both locally within a short distance and global via walkie-talkies, which is pretty cool. Phasmophobia features speech recognition allowing certain pieces of equipment and even the ghost to hear players speaking and understanding keywords. Completing objectives and gathering evidence provides a payout. Complete as much as possible to level up, unlock maps and difficulties, and earn some money. Now if you're looking for a franchise to follow, I would highly suggest checking out Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake and the latest installment which are 7 and 8. Village. Resident Evil is a long-running series that has been somewhat consistent if you do not count Resident Evil 5 and 6. But nonetheless, the games will surely let you be engaged with its high-paced zombie-killing action and creep you out as well for the extra bonus. For you guys thinking of starting, I would recommend you to try out the remakes first. But if continuity isn't an issue with you, then check out the sequels or the latest one with those hot, thick vampire ladies. Mm. Next, we have Little Nightmares 1 and 2. This game takes place in a 2.5D world where the player must traverse through various platform elements, occasionally being blocked by puzzles that must be solved in order to proceed. The player is generally rendered helpless in their environment due to the lack of any combat abilities and must rely on stealth and the environment to hide from their enemies. On a few occasions, the player is given tools that even the odds slightly and allow them to fight back. So horror plus puzzles? Damn, that's, that's going to be crazy. Now if you're looking for a horror sci-fi game, the Dead Space series is something to consider. Primarily set in the 26th century science fiction universe featuring environments, weapons, and characters typical of the genre. The Dead Space franchise centers on a series of video games beginning with the release of the first Dead Space, which follows an engineer named Isaac Clarke and the mutated undead horrors that surround him. A central theme in the games is the fictional cult, Unitology and its fanatical followers, who believe that information about an alien artifact called the Marker is being suppressed by the Earth's government. Their primary goal is to use this marker to bring out the so-called convergence or unification with the marker being the source of the ended monsters encountered by the series protagonist. Next for you Friday the 13th fans out there is Dead by Daylight, a horror slasher game that will surely frighten you with its jump scares and excellent fast paced action. You get to play a group of four survivors that must elude one killer bent on sacrificing them on hooks to the quote-unquote, the entity, an almighty being. The survivor's perspectives are third person while the killer's perspective is first person. The survivors can only fight back by stunning the killer or using items such as flashlights to blind the killer. Survivors can also vault over obstacles much faster than the killer, therefore providing a means of escape. 
Survivors must use these obstacles and tools to help them elude the killer for as long as they can. Next up, we have the new psychological horror game, which is The Medium. You get to play Marianne, a medium who can travel into the spirit realm. Being able to inhabit both worlds aids puzzle solving. Her psychic abilities may also be used against hostile forces and are recharged by interacting with energy spots called spirit wells. So next up, we have Manu Medan, which follows five main protagonists who sail the South Pacific Ocean for a little summer dive trip. Little did they know this trip would test their courage and threaten their lives. Ooh, spooky. Next on the list is everyone's favorite Outlast 2. Outlast 2 is a first-person survival horror game that, like its predecessors Outlast and Outlast Whistleblower, is a single-player campaign. The player controls the investigative journalist Blake Langerman, who investigates a dilapidated rural area in Supai, near the western edge of a Colorado plateau. And before proceeding to the last game, here are some special mentions. First, we have Hideo Kojima's hyped-up demo PT that was sadly discontinued due to some quote-unquote complications. Next, we have another long-running franchise, which is Silent Hill. Oh, God, don't you just miss running away from pyramid heads and those scary bandage nurses? Hella freaky, bro. And another special mention are for those Ridley Scott fans out there, Alien Isolation. Next, we have the third-person survival horror video game developed by Tango Gameworks and published by Bethesda Softworks, which is also directed by Resident Evil series creator Shinji Mikami, comes the Evil Within series. And finally, if you want to be in a teen horror movie, Until Dawn is the game for you. And yes, that dude is the dude from Mr. Robot, if you were thinking about it. Anyways, last but not least, we have the legendary creepypasta story turned into a video game, Five Nights at Freddy's. You play as an anonymous night guard who must survive five nights as you are haunted by five animatronics hell-bent on killing you. You are the night guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a uh, Chuck E. Cheese style family restaurant. As the night progresses, you are stalked by five animatronic characters looking to kill you. And there you have it, a list of best horror games that you should be playing right now. And if you do have your own list of games, please do leave them in the comments below. Once again, I'm your friendly scary boy, G-Man, wishing you guys a happy Halloween. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. Peace out, guys.